Hi folks, welcome to another Did You Know Cash Kai video. Today we're going to concentrate on specifically the key, um, or more specifically the intelligent key, so your keyless model. Uh, if yours is not keyless, then I'm afraid there's not going to be a lot in this video that you can really uh, relate to, so sorry about that. Um, so yeah, later in this video I'll put a link uh, in the description below. Um, I'm going to show you how to change the battery, but whilst we're out here in the car, I'm going to go through some of the tips and tricks you may not be aware of with your key. So first of all, you may have an issue where you've got a low key battery or the key's just not been detected. It's relatively common, it's mainly down to the battery. If you do start getting messages on your centre display saying uh, key not detected or uh, key battery low, then yeah, get that battery changed as soon as possible so you don't have any issues. But if you do have an issue where you're out and about and you haven't got that battery changed and your car is saying that, there is a way around it and a way to open and start your car. So we'll go with how to start the car first. Um, if you're in a manual, you need to make sure you're in neutral. If you're in an auto, it needs to be in park. You then need to put your foot fully down on the brake. And if you're in a manual, fully down on the clutch. Then you get your key and you put it against your start-stop button, just like that. Um, my battery isn't low, so this won't really work. But what should happen is you should hear a chime or a sound. And then once you've heard that sound, just hit the start-stop button and your car should start. Um, I can't obviously show it, like I say, because my battery isn't low, but that's the uh, that's the way it should work. So you just need to put your key against the start stop. Uh, another thing uh, you may not be aware of, or you should really, uh, on the back you see this little clip here. If you open that clip, it's got like a spring loaded in it. If you open it, it allows. This is trying to do this one-handed. There we go. It allows the key to come out. It's not easy with one hand. I'm going to use my teeth. There we go. So when you do that, you'll see this bit pops up. And inside it is your actual physical key. In there. Now, you can use that on your doors. If you can't get the car to unlock, so maybe your battery's gone. You can use that in the door. Just like any normal key. Then it goes right to lock it. Left to unlock it. Um, I would recommend getting this uh, WD ported and, and keep in good condition um, because it can get rusty. So just pop the key back in. Just goes back in there and click shut. People do ask what the button for on the bottom is. It's actually completely useless on the Qashqai. Uh, on the X Trail, it was used for an electronic tailgate opening button, but it does absolutely nothing on the Qashqai, I'm afraid. Another tip for you into the car you can if you are in an area where you um, I don't know you're a bit worried about security and the like you can set um, your choice Is excuse me uh, you can set a choice of um, what door is unlocked with the smart key to do that if you go into your settings down to vehicle settings uh, yep, sorry, vehicle settings, unlocking. So you've got here, you've got iKey, door lock, and selective unlock. Um, if you go into selective unlock, what that will do is whichever button you press around the car for the keyless entry, it will only unlock that door. So if you go to your passenger door and press the um, unlock button, it will only open the passenger door. Your driver's door will stay locked, the rest of the car, the boot, everything will stay locked. So it's useful, like I say, for security, if you're worried about carjackings and that sort of things. I don't have it on personally because, touch wood, I don't have too much worries about that. So yeah, that's how you do that. It's quite useful in some places, I suppose. So that's that one. There we go. Right, so what I'm going to do now um, is I'm going to head inside and I'm going to show you how you change the battery in this key. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how you need to change the battery, or how to change the battery in your key. Uh, to do that, you need a couple of tools. You need a uh, relatively thin, flat-bladed screwdriver, like so, and you need the battery itself. Oh, where I put that? There we go. Which is a CR2032 battery. Um, I would recommend getting a decent brand because then it will last longer, obviously, and it's just worth it. Um, I think the difference between unbranded and a branded one is a few pounds here in the UK, so I'd recommend that. Right, so let's change the battery. Get your key, um, take any key rings off it, it's ideal just so you've got more playroom. 
And first thing you need to do is remove that physical key which I showed you outside. I hope there's enough light in here. So there we go. That's the little switch that I was on about. Get your nail under it, give it a pull, and out the key will pop. But the key to the side, we don't need that at the moment because the battery is in here. Now, in the end of the key, where you've just removed that physical part from, you can see there's a couple of tabs and the gaps for this screwdriver. You can see there is one at the top, just there, and one at the bottom. All you need to do is get the screwdriver into there and just twist it. So try and catch it on camera. Put one into one side, into that little gap, like so, and give it a twist. And you can see it's starting to open up a little bit on the side. Do one side, and then do the other side. And you just keep doing it, and it will slowly get bigger. That gap where you can see it's opening up. Obviously, if this hasn't been done in the past in this key, the little latches will be a lot stronger, so you may have to really jimmy it. But just take your time because it's you don't want to damage this key too much, and you really do not want to get the blade into the key because you can start damaging the components inside. So as we open it more, what I tend to do is go around the actual body of the key with a screwdriver, just ever so slightly put it into the gap that's now opening up and twist it, and eventually the whole key will open up like so. Okay. Now inside it's obviously into two halves. One side has got your chipboard in it. This is what you really need to be careful of because that's where obviously um, a lot of the card information and, and immobilizer stuff is based. It even says on the t uh, circuit board, if I can show you, it even actually says, do not touch. <laughs> so there you go. So we'll put that to the side. The battery is in the other half here. It's just holding with a spring latch. Now what you need to do, again with your screwdriver, You'll notice that around the edge of the battery, there is actually a gap at this end. So you need to slide it onto there and pop it out. Again, just take your time. Eventually, it will just pop, he says, hopefully. And there we go. And out it pops. So the old battery out of the way. And your new battery the battery going into it so the um, plus side of one of these batteries get back in the camera the plus side of one of these batteries is the um, uh, like flat side with the details on so that needs to be the bit that sits upwards to put it in you can see there's like a, a metal rim around the inside it's sort of spring loaded and that's what holds the battery in place uh, so what we do is we put it in, pushing against that side, with the metal clips on, we push it into that side and push down and make sure it holds in place, it's not going to fall out. Uh, also whilst you're here just make sure that these two little prongs here, they're the, actual, they're, they're the two contacts for the battery, just make sure they're up, you know, I'm not saying bend them, but make sure they are sat like mine, you can see they're slightly higher than the battery itself because they are actually what makes contact with this side, so you want a good contact. Put it back together is pretty simple, just snaps back together. Make sure you've not got anything caught or you're bending anything as it goes back. Just put the two pieces back together, like so, and then just push and listen for the clicks. Click, click. So I just push basically each side here, and it's gone back together. Obviously then just slide your physical key back in, and it's done. You've changed the battery in your cash card, possibly other than uh, Nissan models as well. Uh, key. Um, I would recommend doing the battery swap itself, so the time between you having to keep the, the two, halves, <coughs> two halves apart and back together, I'd recommend getting it done as quick as possible just to avoid losing any potential um, sort of information stored inside that circuit board. But yeah, that's it. So um, a bit like the previous video, there's not a whole lot of info I can give you on the key apart from what I've told you. Um, but if you've got any things that you think I might have forgotten, um, just get in touch, drop me a comment, I'm pretty quick at replying. Um, we are smashing our way up to a thousand subs, which I really appreciate guys, I really do, really do appreciate it. Um, if we hit over a thousand subs, I will be doing a giveaway, um, essentially cash car related, but I know I've got a lot of old sub subscribers from my gaming days and my karting stuff and stuff like that. So probably do a gift card giveaway or something like that when we get to a thousand so yeah be sure to uh, share it to any people that you know that, you know that have got a cash guy um, and i shall catch you guys in the next video so thanks very much see you soon